Hello, welcome, welcome gorgeous beings of light. This is Elmara coming to you with the 100 Miracles in 100 Days project and the Effortless Manifesting and Awareness Quickie, which we are going to upgrade to the fifth dimension activation or part of it today. So let's start by just taking a long, slow, deep breath in, or as deep as you can go. Just follow the breath in if you can't breathe deeply. Let it out with a sigh. Just let go of everything that's outside this moment. Let's do this several times. Big belly breath. Filling up your entire being from head to toe, skin to bone, with gorgeous life giving chi. When you feel your awareness shift within, we'd like you to return the breath to breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. While we do excuse me, sorry. <laughs> Energy pouring through me already to you. Uh, while we do the awareness activation, which as mentioned yesterday, this is our forty second miracle. We are 42 days into the awareness activation and we should be able to just breathe. Breathe in and connect past the 1% physical being that you are and connect into your 99% untapped pure potential, pure God source that exists within you. So we're just going to try that for a bit. If you've just landed here today, you can go back to the very first full activation we did. But yesterday, on Miracle 41, oh, I'm confused now as to which one it is, 41 I think was yesterday. And we went through all of them yesterday. We did it on number 40. We just skipped straight into the awareness as we're doing today. 41, I went through all of them and added some new ones in. At the end of it that, you know, I didn't think about because I don't have them. Depression, anxiety, jealousy, um, envy, some of those other emotions that other people experience. And also those other, you know, tags that people put on you like Asperger's, Bipolar, um, autistic, you know, all of that stuff that is just stuff that keeps you in a box and doesn't, it, doesn't necessarily incorporate the magnificent, unique being of light you already are. So let's just breathe. See if we can connect into our awareness. Just breathe beyond all the stuff, all your 1%, and move straight into the 99% untapped, pure potential, pure God source that exists in each and every one of us. It's there the day we're born, and it's there the day we die. And it's absolutely friggin' fantastic when you can learn to connect to it in somewhere in that time in between because your life changes forever. Just breathe. Just breathe. And if any stuff comes up, this is the point where the ego usually tries to go, oh, what's going on, I can't feel anything. Just toss that out the window or out the door. And if you listened to yesterday's recording or the very first one, if you knew, you'll know what that means. Just let it go. Just let it go. Just put it aside for 
15, 20 minutes while we do this, maybe 25 activation. See if you can't feel lighter without all the stories about yourself or the stories other people have told you about who you are. Just breathe. And the reason I said that we're going to upgrade to the fifth dimension is because, as you may be aware, we are going to begin teaching the fifth dimension to people again via an online course. I've always taught it face to face. I've been working in the fifth dimension since 1997 when spirits first taught me how to do that. And then I had a temple in Melbourne, probably around 2008, 2010. And I had that for a couple of years. Then I went back to working one-on-one -on -one and went into the quantum. But it's, became, it's become really clear to us that the time is now to awaken the fifth dimension on Earth. One, because there's so much rubbish around about it. Everybody's waiting for a spaceship to come get them, and that's not what the fifth dimension is. And two, and most importantly, because every human being that's here on Earth came here to assist with the awakening of Mother Earth and all her inhabitants, inhabitants to raise that vibration up. And 99% of the healing that is available is all about fixing you, all about duality consciousness. And it's all an old paradigm of healing. It belongs in last century. It doesn't belong here. And the energies coming in are so powerful that even some of the most powerful healers I know are struggling and having things happen in their body to make them wake up and step up into the light. So um, I was told before Christmas to come back and do the fifth dimension. I still wasn't sure how to do it, but some stuff happened. Um, last weekend when I joined a group of 10,000 healers across the world that were all centered in love and above and it was just extraordinary and I made so many shifts and I went oh my god that's what I'm meant to be doing. I thought I was meant to be building a temple, a one earth temple here on the Gold Coast but it's taken me two years of living here to realize or two and a half years that it's meant to be an etheric temple or an online temple so people from all over the world can enjoy it. So, take a big breath in for me. And if that resonates with you, if that resonates with you, then please listen on a little bit further. I am going to give everyone the first step to the fifth dimension. And if this doesn't rock your boat, then <laughs> it's not for you. Um, but if you want to stop playing in the poo, as we call it, and raise up into the higher dimensions of light, then please come join us for the fifth dimension training. It was the very first step is all I gave to Jackie, a lovely lady I met in another course last August and when she finished that course she was you know in the same state that she went into the course in as a lot of people were because that's what happens when you play in your poo you just create more of it and Jackie was struggling with everything struggling with happiness with joy in her life with bliss in her life but also struggling to eat and I gave her this first step of the fifth dimension because she had no money to pay for a course with me. And she did it for a few weeks. And then as usual, what happened, she would saw the results, it was instant, which it is, it is instant. That's why you know, and she's written that somewhere. I, I think she gave me a testimonial to that effect and it's on my website. Like she didn't have to wonder if it was gonna work because she felt it working immediately. And that's what happens when you come into alignment with truth. The shift happens immediately. And so she did it for a couple of weeks and then her ego, which also happens, talked her out of doing it. 
talked her out of doing it. And for some reason, like I had said, and it is, it is better for you. It is, you can usually feel it a lot more if you're new to it by standing barefoot out on Mother Earth. But it's not a necessity because we used to run these classes at night time and the sun's still out somewhere in the world. I also was remembering this morning when I was meditating a lovely lady who came who had MS. And she said, oh, I, I won't be able to stay awake for a whole day. And I said, and she goes, and I certainly won't be able to stand. And I said, that's okay, darling, you can sit and it'll be okay. She was awake for the whole day. She, had, she said she had not been awake for a whole day for like a decade. That's how powerful the fifth dimensional energy is. Why? Because disease does not exist in the fifth dimension. It only exists in 3D duality consciousness. So, so darling Jackie does it for two weeks. Stops doing it because the ego must have been raiding or something and thought she can't do it outside and as soon as you miss a day, you miss 10 more days and her life turned back to where it was. And I just said to her, I can't do it for you. Like it's the simplest thing in the world to do, but I can't do it for you. And so she committed to doing it. And you know, in less than a month of committing to do it, she's the lady that manifested 36,000 US dollars, so 3,000 US dollars a month for the rest of her life. And life's just become, but not only that, she's become more joyful. She's a lot happier. Things are just coming to her and her life just keeps getting better, better and better every day. She's obviously the reason why she's the very first person who signed up to do my fifth dimension training coming up in probably towards the end of February, March. We don't have a set date because I have to move house. Um, but it's definitely going ahead. Um, there's four decades of testimonials on my website of similar stories and I'm going to share another fifth dimensional miracle with you shortly. From here on in, we'll probably just share fifth dimensional miracles so we can get some of you to join this fabulous training. The other benefit of joining is that this class will be live and you will save $666. The original fifth dimensional course used to cost $5,995 back in 2010 and it went up to $11,110. When it goes online as an online course, which will have live question and answer and ask me anything sessions, but it will be a recorded course at that point. But this first one we're doing is a live course. So you'll get me live two or three times a week. And you also will get me live. Oh, sorry, just watching something arrive up the driveway, making a racket. Um, make... Um, um, Gosh, what was I going to say? Sorry, I'm distracted by someone yelling outside the window. Um, you you will receive the course live and you save $666. So because for the first people that join, it's an introductory offer. It will be $2,222. Every course after that will be $2,888. So yeah, I've put a little ad in there, but I've been giving you free healing for... 42 days, which is like six weeks, and I think I'm entitled to do that. So I'm just going to give you the first step of the fifth dimension. I want you to try it. Try it for a week and see if it doesn't make a huge, huge, it's going to say bloody difference in your life. That's the Aussie girl in me. So if you can, please go stand outside barefoot on earth. If you can't, that's okay. Just sit in a chair if you're un incapable of standing. Or you can stand inside if it's night time and it's snowing outside or something. So just plant your feet and imagine you're standing on Mother Earth if you can't do it physically. Then I want you to breathe in and, in, and just make it your intention to take your attention up to the sun. So just breathe in. Raise your hands up and imagine the energy from the tip of your fingertips is going into the sun and connect that energy from your fingertips into the sun. Then I want you to breathe in. Bring all that golden light from the sun down through your crown. Let it flood every one of your hundred trillion cells and your hundred trillion telling ears. And take the last 
5% of that energy down through your feet and into the core of Mother Earth where there's a big golden sun in the center of Mother Earth. And I want you to grab a scoop of that gorgeous, gorgeous energy from the, from the center of Earth, from the big golden sun in the center of Mother Earth. Bring that energy back up. Let it flood every cell, every atom, every molecule of your being and breathe out and take that energy back up to the sun. And you're going to do, we're going to do this now just for a couple of minutes. But if you can do it for 10 to 20 minutes, I'm telling you, a lot of your health challenges are going to go away. You're going to start raising your frequency because you are now in alignment with the earth and the sun, which is how we're meant to be. We all wear shoes with rubber bottoms on them now. We used to wear leather shoes and we don't connect to earth. But it starts to re-establish the meridian lines that used to go from the earth to the sun. Now most people's meridian lines are all stuffed up in their head. In, sorry, in their head, in their body. Don't even go past the head usually. So just breathe in. Bring the energy down from the sun. Breathe that energy from the sun out into every one of your 100 trillion cells and your 100 trillion telomeres and take the last 5% of that energy down, connect it into Earth. Breathe in and bring all that energy from Earth back up, straight up into your body. Breathe that Earth energy out into your body. And breathe out and take the last 5% of that energy up to the sun. Breathe in. Beautiful, beautiful source light from the sun. Let it flood every cell, every atom, every molecule of your being. Breathe out. The last 5% connected into earth. Bring all of that earth energy back up. Breathe it out into your body. Back up to the sun. Source light from the sun down again. Big breath in, let it flood every cell. And I move my arms up and down, just so you know. Breathe out, take the last 5% down into earth. And I just imagine I'm scooping the energy up from earth. Bringing it up, breathing it out into my body. Taking the last 5% with my fingertips up and point it to the sun. Breathe in. Bring that earth energy down through the crown. Breathe it out into your body. My hands are moving down the front of my chakras here. Take the last 5% and I take my hands down, point them at the core of Mother Earth. Bring that earth energy back up, all the golden energy from the core of Mother Earth back up. Breathe it out into your body and take the last 5% up to the sun. Now the reason we use our hands to move, so I teach Qigong and Tai Chi and all those things are really powerful because your mind is busy doing stuff, moving it up and down and therefore the energy just gets in. So you can do that, you just breathe in. It's that simple, breathe the energy. And, and spirituality should be simple. We just made it really bloody complicated so nobody ever gets there, I think. A lot of people did. I don't need, I don't need hundreds of you to, um, I don't need hundreds of you to, um, so there was just a massive man walked out into the yard, he's huge. <laughs> it must be about six foot eight or something. I don't need you to, I don't need any of you to, um, um, if you just do this one exercise and you never do my training again, it's going to change, never even come and do my training. It will change your life because you're coming into alignment with the earth and the sun and you are a being of earth. You came here to earth to upgrade your energy and to help upgrade the energy of earth. You also are just bringing the sun down and, and letting it nourish mother earth as well, as well as mother earth bringing the energy up and nourishing yourself and connecting into the sun. You Once you come into alignment with those two, lots of goodies will happen. So we will be doing that exercise every day now instead of the awareness activation because I think it's far more powerful for you. Um, and yeah. So you can continue doing that now while I share today's fifth dimension miracle, just breathing the energy down from the sun through the crown. You breathe it out when it gets to the crown, but see that energy flooding through your body and into earth. Breathe in and bring the energy up to your feet. Breathe that energy out, let it flood your entire being and the last 5% goes up to the sun. So if you can continue that, and this way you won't even have to ask, oh, how can I do this? You can if you want to. How can I manifest my soulmate? You're going to find when you come into alignment with who you are, 
all sorts of goodies start showing up. And that's just the first step of my fifth dimension meditation and activation. So, breathing in, bringing all that energy down from earth, down from the sun. Breathe it out into your body. Take the last 5% to earth. Breathe all that energy up. Just scoop it up. Let it flood every cell, every atom, every molecule of being and take the last 5% up to, to the sun. And if you just do that for 10, 20 minutes a day, if you just do that while I tell the rest of this, tell today's miracle story, you're going to notice a difference by the time we've finished. I wouldn't recommend doing it before bed because it will keep you awake. But if you do it at the start of your day, it'll give you tons and tons of energy. And if you really, really want to get connected, you could put your clock on and every hour just do one minute of connection like that and you will notice such a difference at the end of your day. Okay, so today's Fifth Dimension Miracle was mentioned briefly at the end of yesterday's. And it's about this gorgeous, gorgeous lady. I was like, I think in my early 50s. I had a clinic, this before I had the temple, I hired rooms at the Tree of Life Chiropractic Clinic in Melbourne. If you ever need some chiropractic work, John Hare is one of the most extraordinary human beings. And you please go see him if you need any, if you've got any back problems and stuff going on. But I rented a room there long before my temple and we're kind of going back a dozen or so years here. Um, and um, this lovely, lovely lady came to see me. She was um, little. She was little. I remember her being about the same height as me, about five foot. But she wore these huge high heels and she came in doled up to the nines. Like she would have been in her 60s and she had, um, she had a beautiful suit on. She was impeccably dressed. She had beautiful hair. People outside were just getting too naughty. I just had to <laughs> shut my windows. And she was so gorgeous. And she was the head, like the head reception. She'd worked for a solicitor for 20 or 30 years uh, for the biggest law firm in Melbourne. And she was like the head admin lady. She was the lady who, um, she was the lady who, um, She she was the lady who looked after all of the secretaries for the whole 10 floors or whatever it was. And she came in saying to me, Elle, I know I'm a healer. She'd done Reiki or something at the time. And she came in for a, a 5D healing session with me and she goes, I know I'm a healer, but I just, um, I really, really love my job as well. And I just said to her, as I'm going to say to you, you do not need to, it's so long as your heart is pure and you are connected to your heart and you're connected to your magnificence. You don't have to have a sign outside your door that says healer. I told her just to keep doing exactly what she was doing because in doing exactly what she was doing, she was able to, um, she was able to get to a whole bunch of people that I would never be able to get to. Like there's no way that any lawyers or solicitors were going to come knocking on my door. But she, she spoke about how she would look after all of the young girls. And even if they had problems, they would come to her, you know, if they had problems at home or boyfriend problems or whatever they came. So she was, she was the head admin person, but she was also like um, great granny, you know, like of all these, these people. And she was respected by all of the lawyers there. And I just said, her, just keep doing your own work, connecting to your own heart, and you will be servicing humanity. You will be servicing humanity anyway by just showing up every day. So you don't have to have a sign outside your door that says healer. You just have to show up fully connected to your heart and you will still be doing that. It's what it's happening in your heart. Laying your hands on people is really probably outdated anyway. It's not really the way to go for the future. All of us are aware enough to know that you don't really heal anybody. You just help people remember the magnificence of who they are by you being the magnificence of who you truly are. 
So that's our 5D miracle for today. She was so gorgeous. She only came and saw me a couple of times and got herself really activated and she accepted that her place of healing was to continue doing what she's doing but just to make sure she connected to her heart every day. And that's the same for you. When you do my fifth dimension, act, certified fifth dimension activator training, you do not need to go lay your hands on people. You will be able to just activate the fifth dimension in people just walking past them. But then there'll be those people that want to learn how to do it within themselves and you'll be certified to teach people one-on-one -on -one how to connect to the fifth dimension. So let's breathe for me, please. And I am just going to give you a little blast of fifth dimension energy for a minute or so. I'm sorry, there's lots of stuff going on outside my door here. It looks like my landlords are having a spa delivered. <laughs> so there's men everywhere. <laughs> Alrighty. They're going to come and ask me to shift my car in a moment. I can just feel that. So that's us done for today. If you would like to, I'll put the details if you'd like to speak to me about our fifth dimension training coming up in February, March. And... Sending you so much love and I'll speak to you again tomorrow.